Welcome back to the End of Days Chronicles channel. Black people, one of the largest ethnic groups worldwide, have a well-documented history that is even mentioned in religious texts. Surprisingly, the Bible discusses the origins of African people, including their prominent figures such as melanin kings and queens. In this video, you will explore interesting facts about the biblical ancestors of black and African peoples. Please show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. According to the Holy Scriptures, all present-day people are descendants of Noah's three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. This applies to black people and other ethnic groups with dark skin, as their lineage can be traced back to Ham, one of Noah's sons. Ham is the brother of Shem and Japheth, who represent the Semitic peoples, Arabs, Jews, Syrians, etc., and the descendants of Europeans and Asians, respectively. The term Hamites, or Amits, originally referred to people descended from Ham or his son Canaan, in the Bible. The book of Genesis states that after the flood Noah and his three sons were tasked with continuing the lineage of Adam and his descendants. With only eight people Noah, his wife, their three sons, and their daughters-in-law, humanity had to start anew. Ham, the son of Noah, is acknowledged as the ancestor of African and black peoples in the Bible. His name is consistently associated with Africa, and the Book of Psalms identifies him as the ancestor of the ancient Egyptians. Interestingly, in antiquity, rabbinical traditions, ancient Jewish tales, and other ancient traditions always identified Ham as the ancestor of African peoples. Moreover, all interpretations of Ham's children point to African countries and regions populated by African peoples. It is worth noting that the name Ham itself, in Hebrew, Aramaic, and other ancient languages, means burned or dark, referring to the skin tone of his descendants. Chapter 10 of the book of Genesis, specifically verses 6-14, provides further information about the lineage of Ham, also known as the Hamite peoples. The text mentions Ham's descendants, including Cush, the father of several African peoples, and Mizraim, the father of the ancient Egyptians. It is important to mention that Arabs, Jews, Syrians, and other peoples refer to Egypt as Mizraim in reference to its origins. Other sons of Ham are put, also known as Foot, and Canaan Canaan is the father of the Canaanites, who are distinct from the African peoples. It is crucial to understand that Canaan represents a separate region and people. The sons of Cush include Havila, Sapta, Rama, Sheba, and Nimrod. During the reign of Nimrod, cities like Babel, among others, were part of his domain. Nimrod, an ancestor of the indigenous peoples of ancient Babylon, the Sumerians, migrated to Assyria, where he established two or three cities. Furthermore, Mizrahi, the ancestor of the Ludites, who are North African peoples like the Ammonites, Lehites, Naphtuites, Patricites, and Casualites, gave rise to the Philistines and pickpockets. Mizrahi, Ham's firstborn son, is responsible for the emergence of numerous nations and peoples, including the Ethiopians. All Ethiopians trace their ancestry back to Cush, as do the people of Nubia, known in ancient times as the Kingdom of Cush. These are the primary nations and peoples descending from Cush, the first son of Ham, and they extend beyond Cush and Nubia, encompassing the Kingdom of Cush, the Kingdom of Nubia, and the ancient Sumerians. Nimrod, the rebellious son of Cush, is considered the progenitor of the Samaritan people. Additionally, it is believed that the peoples of South India, as well as other African groups like Malians, Eritreans, Kenyans, Congolese, and Bantus from Gabon, have Kushite ancestry. The term Kush is often associated with Ethiopia, Sudan, and Africa in the Bible, and its literal meaning is Ethiopia or black. Kush was also the father of Canaan and Mizrahi. Mizrahi is recognized as the ancestor of the ancient Egyptians, and many other North African peoples, including the Berbers and the dark-skinned Tuareg. It is interesting to note that all Semitic peoples, such as the Arameans, Arabs, and Israelites, refer to Egypt as Mizrahi. This designation is used in various ancient languages, including Aramaic, Arabic, and Hebrew. In the Book of Psalms, chapter 78, verse 51, it is mentioned that God struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, the first fruits of manhood in the tents of Ham. Apart from Mizrahi, Ham also had a son named Put or Foot. 
Interestingly, the name Put originates from a word that means landmark and refers to tribal hunters in Africa. Put is considered the father of the native black Libyans in Libya, as well as several other African peoples. Now, regarding the infamous curse of Ham and his son Canaan, many ancient people misinterpreted the account described in the book of Genesis, chapter 9. The text states that after Noah became intoxicated, his son Ham did not assist him but instead informed his other brothers that their father was naked and drunk, seemingly to mock him. However, there are multiple interpretations of this text, but it is not the main focus of the video. Noah placed a curse specifically on Canaan, one of Ham's sons. Though it may seem like an exaggerated response from Noah, at that time, the relationship of respect towards fathers was almost sacred, despite Noah's apparent mistake of becoming drunk. Interpretations of these texts suggest that Noah may have accidentally become drunk while tending to grapevines, an act that had never been done before. In this accidental discovery of wine, Noah unknowingly consumed it and became intoxicated, which is why God did not punish him. It is important to note that Ham and his other three children, Cush, Mizrahi, and Put, originated from African peoples. Emphasizing this point is crucial. It is essential to highlight that black peoples were not cursed, but rather it was Canaan, the father of the Canaanites who inhabited the Middle East, who received Noah's curse. The curse does not fall upon African peoples. It is crucial to clarify that interpreting the biblical text as if African peoples had been cursed is a serious error and a false interpretation. The curse specifically targets Canaan, the ancestor of the Canaanite peoples. We know that Ham is the ancestor of all African and South Indian peoples, and he lived a remarkably long life. Being born before the flood, he enjoyed an extended lifespan and witnessed the fifth and sixth generations of his family and ancestry. Interestingly, just like Shem, who is believed to have lived approximately 600 years, it is presumed that Ham also reached a similar age, or even longer. Although there is no precise confirmation of his exact lifespan as the biblical texts do not mention it, the exact location of Ham's tomb remains unknown, but according to certain theories and studies, it may be situated in the Ethiopian region or even in Nubia. Others propose that his tomb is in Mesopotamia, the land of the Sumerians. However, many agree that Ham's tomb is located in Africa, more precisely in Sudan or Ethiopia. Some even suggest the intriguing possibility of his burial in Egypt, a country rich in mysteries, where ancient remains from three or four thousand years ago are constantly being discovered. The Book of Jubilees an ancient Jewish manuscript that was believed to be true during the time of Christ and even earlier, provides us with a wealth of information about Ham's old age and the events involving Noah's family and the three lineages. The lineage of Ham, the lineage of Shem, and the lineage of Japheth. According to this historical text, Ham strongly disapproved of his youngest son Canaan's decision to settle in the land of Shem, which is now known as Israel. Ham, along with his other sons Cush and Mizrahi, expressed their disagreement with Canaan's desire to claim those lands for himself. The Book of Jubilees reports that Cush and Mizrahi, being brothers of Canaan, joined their father Ham in expressing their disapproval of Canaan's choice to dwell in the land of Shem, which corresponds to present-day Israel. Like Ham, they opposed Canaan's attitude. In their efforts to convince Canaan to leave that land, they went to him and ordered him to depart, asserting that the African lands were reserved for the descendants of Ham. However, Canaan defied their wishes and continued to reside in the land, disregarding the will of his father and his brothers Mizrahi and Cush. The Book of Jubilees further narrates that Ham, after the flood, became the founder of the first city and the first province. He named the city after his beloved wife Malutamlok. We express our gratitude to everyone who has watched thus far. We kindly request you to leave your likes, as it holds significant importance. Furthermore, we encourage you to share the video so that more people can have the opportunity to watch it, and we invite you to subscribe to the channel. May God bless you.